So guys, these are the things I got into in the year 2020. We're going to go into them now and I'll just talk to you guys about them, okay? If you didn't know, this is a chin and just sewing space where you learn to sew and style the wardrobe of your dreams. And without further ado, let's dig in. Now, there were some hits and misses and um, there are also some tutorials as well, which I will link in the cards for you guys. So have no fear of that. So uh, I'm going to start this in no particular order. Let me just pull out the first one that is here. Wow. This is my six piece skirt. This has a tutorial on the channel. Okay. Um, what can I say? I saw the fabric fell in love and decided to make a six piece skirt, but put chevron in it because I'm a masochist. I'm a sucker for pain, but uh, I thought it would make a nice tutorial for you guys. So I did that, and this is this is it really. I will, like I said again, I will link it up in the cards. I do like the skirt. I love the skirt a lot. I just wish I had used a lighter fabric so that I mean, like the skirt is good, but it wasn't what was in my head, and that is a thing, you know. You can make something, but getting what you what you imagined onto fabric into a design is a whole other step as well which i have to admit i'm getting better at so uh, this skirt was a hit but i personally just wish i'd used the lighter fabric and i think i will make it again when i find the lighter fabric okay okay so sticking with the skirt theme okay i have these two skirts that i made for my fashion collection okay so um this one is just a regular um midi skirt with an elastic waistband okay uh it's lined as well i found out that as, as i've gotten older i appreciate a good lining okay uh, nothing to this here but this one took a lot out of me. <laughs> I, I did top stitching. I added this feature. There's also um, a tutorial for the pockets. Okay. It's a lined, uh, what should we call it? I forgot the name. I'll put it on the screen. But... I have a tutorial for this pocket, welt pocket, sorry, it's lined double welt pockets, you know, it goes on to the back, right, and uh, this is also part of my fashion collection, and I love it, I, I find out that I love a lot of skirts, <laughs> okay, and now, um, I'm making this on the channel as well, another skirt, it's a wrap skirt, that is heavily inspired by by something i saw on reformation it's not yet done but uh, by the time this video goes up it will be done because it's also a tutorial the first part of the pattern drafting part of the tutorial is already out on the channel and uh, so i'll link that up in the cards for you guys but yeah this skirt is going to be done by the time this video is out so you will see a video of me modeling it okay now moving on to pants we made pants in 2019 which was part of my my 2018 goals right so um i'm very happy that i got to do that now these pants if you can see oh this is also part of my minerva project i got this fabric free from minerva uh, in an exchange for a blog post on their blog if you haven't seen their website please go check it out it is the bomb if you create anything at all you can post it on there it's for everyone but uh, back to these pants i i did a, a hong kong finishes on everything on the insides because the my first pants that i've you know like i cut and sewed and they're high-waisted and i made them myself and um 
yeah so i didn't you know i wanted something something fun on the insides the fabric is very nice i don't know if it's coming true to color but i will like i said i will do a little twirl and you guys will see so it has a side zip no waistband you know and yeah i love it the insides are, are giving me life the insides are everything everything i tell you okay the next thing is this um what should we call them restyling remaking you know um there's also a video for this top on the channel this used to be a skirt that i owned years and years and years ago and i love it so much i loved it so much i kept it you know because the fabric is um these uh, mix and mix and match prints okay so i i couldn't obviously with time and everything i couldn't fit into the skirt anymore so i turned it into this top and these were ties in the front which i just used to add a little bit of detail to the to the sleeve um i really wanted long sleeves and you know like three quarter length sleeves and the fabric wasn't enough so i just took this fabric which was that i had in my stash, which was the same color and added to it and like i said there is a tutorial on how to make this so i will link it for you guys and you can check it out okay um this top is also something that is from my fashion collection right it's a very simple top this fabric is a twill fabric so it has some some weight to it this is the back and um it so it holds its structure well but it stretches you see it stretches and i really like the details in the front there's the whole uh, pleat detail going on there very simple very understated but very beautiful i really really loved it and sadly <laughs> there's no tutorial on that either so um what else this top this top gave me um, a little bit of nightmares but it's also part of my fashion collection and sadly there is also no tutorial this top i made and it was um it was inspired by um a top i saw sorry about this dirt because i've i've worn it a fair bit it was inspired by this top i saw online i will show you the the design and it's it's amazing like that um fashion house i've forgotten their name they make things after my own heart like it's very much my style okay so i made that now the next things are um okay so let me just get into it this is a skirt and a top i made for my brother's traditional wedding these are in nigeria we wear these types of laces and stuff for traditional weddings right so this is just a skirt uh with gathers just a little bit of gathers on here right but the top is what i really like because i put um these are organza sleeves and this is um satin that i used to do the flare for the for the top and i don't know if you can see it, but the top is like the top has um like a panel here and there's a dart shooting out there but yeah I made this for his wedding and we wore it for his traditional wedding and we wore it and i loved it so much right this was a, a hit this however i made for his um church wedding okay in nigeria there's two types okay so this was a complete and total disaster this was supposed to be a dress and i don't think i have any pictures of the dress because i i really really disliked i really really disliked the the outfit that much so i wore it to to church for the church wedding 
and tried taking some pictures they were a disaster like i said so i just got back home cut it off here turned it into a top and wore like a red sequin skirt underneath and let me tell you guys i will put pictures up because i'm not going to wear this anymore and i like i'm so disappointed this is a scuba fabric right i'm so disappointed like i haven't even touched it since that day that's how much that's how disappointed i am with the whole creation and everything and it's peeling so bad so yeah that's a miss for 2020. the next make i have is this a-line dress which is a hit i love i love i love um i started making it in 2019 but i i finished it in 2020 and i uploaded uploaded a tutorial for it um the video is doing quite well on the channel and uh, you guys should go take a look it's got a uh, double puff sleeves right and it's got like a wide boat neck and v in the front and yeah is a line dress of dreams really so yeah check that out um what else so another dress i made during this 2020 was this dress by minerva um i'll show you the dress it was inspired by right it's a metallic brocade it's on the site right now it's on sale on the site right now i will put links in the description but i love this so much again it was inspired by something i saw online i think a karen millen dress and the back it has this very interesting back detail which blew me away and i had to make the dress and uh yeah i piping details a wide hem so it could flow really nice and again that paneling by the side i'll show you guys right there's a paneling by the side and a dart that goes in this way then i also played with the brocade you know uh, one side and another side and uh, yeah this is another hit i've got lots of wear out of it and everybody seems to love it and i love it more than they do obviously okay so this is another thing from minerva which i haven't uploaded on the minerva website yet because i haven't finished it but by the time this video goes up it will be finished because i will put video of me make doing a twirl and i intend to wear it for this same brother that i i made all this uh, traditional he, he already has a baby i'm an aunt well this is my second go around at being an aunt but i love it so i'm wearing this for the child's naming it is it's inspired by something i saw lupita wearing and it's just like I was being lazy and I put an elastic uh, band at the back so it's like a pull-on dress but the front is a wrap front I don't know if you can see that it's a wrap front two colors this fabric is John Cal John Caldo fabric is lovely it's a crepe yes it's a, it's a some sort of crepe yeah and i love it so the back is just the green and the top is the peach and the front you know this is the front the neckline just goes like this and forgive this thing because i have been trying to i've been trying it on and off to see how it looks and everything so hopefully i'm pleased with it and there's a video of me twirling it for you guys and all that good stuff so um i think that is it you guys this is most of what i made in 2020 i think i made something for my mom and all that and how many outfits are there actually 12 to 12 ish 13 ish makes and trust me if you know me i'm a slow sewer and i did want to try and start uh, you know 
uh, sewing faster, sewing at least one thing a month. And from everything here, it's like I've done that. I'm, I actually didn't know I'd made that much. I'm very proud of myself. And there are even pants in there. There are pants in there. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I appreciate everything you guys have done so far. Hopefully, uh, I already uploaded. Oh no, I don't think I have. That video, a video of what I intend to do in 2021 going forward with my sewing and blah, blah, blah. Do watch that video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. In the meantime, keep sewing and subscribe.